everyone. Thanks for joining me today for Practical Life. Today I'm going to be doing a lesson that builds on the skills we did yesterday in the twisting nuts and bolts activity, and that is pencil sharpening. So if you haven't already watched that activity, you may want to do that. It would be a lesson that I would probably give first to make sure that they have mastery over that twisting motion um, with the nuts and bolts before offering the pencil sharpening because there's a little bit more refinement. The um, pencil sharpener is probably going to be smaller, the pencil is smaller to hold, um, and because there's a little bit more uh, sequence to the activity. So I will show you the materials and go ahead and get started. Here's my cute little panda blanket again for my work rug. here so you can see. For this activity, I have uh, just two pencils that are unsharpened. Of course, you can use ones that have been sharpened and just need to be resharpened. And I just have a container with a pencil sharpener in it. Just kind of one of those very basic circular pencil sharpeners. Okay, I'll try to find a way that you can see here. I'm gonna put the pencil into the hole of the pencil sharpener and twist. Now I wanna make sure that my um, pencil shavings are going to go into the container so it doesn't make a big mess. starting to get a sharpened pencil, but I want to make it a little bit more so that I can write with it. Now my pencil is really sharp. See how pointy it is? So that means I'm all done sharpening. And I need to make sure that my pencil shavings go in the trash because they're kind of messy. That's what my activity looks like. And put away my work rug. Now what I like about this activity is it's um, a way that the child can be involved with taking care of our materials. <clears throat> so in the classroom, it's oftentimes the teacher's job to sharpen all the pencils and make sure that they are ready for the day, but I think that children can really participate in doing that. I know that preschool age children, I've had them do this activity before with lots of success and they really enjoy it. They can concentrate on it for a long time. So if you have some pencils laying around that need sharpened, I know I do in my house, um, you can show your child how to, how to sharpen them um, and hopefully you will get good results from that as well. So I hope this has given you some helpful tips of ways that you can stay engaged in learning at home with your children. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!